and this is Jade. And this is Kids Point. And today we're teaching you how to play Rhino, Rhino Hero. Hero. Rhino Hero is a super fun card stocking game. And you win by being the first player to finish up your hand. You lose by knocking down the tower. So don't knock down the tower. When you deal out the cards, each person gets five cards unless there are two players. Then each person gets seven cards. And these are the roof cards. The dark lines show where the walls go. These are the walls. You start the game by setting down the foundation card, which has two difficulties. This is the hard difficulty, which starts with one wall. This is the easy difficulty, which starts with two. You start by setting the foundation card in the middle of the table. And the first person to go, which is usually the youngest, sets down their walls in the spot that the walls go in. And you put it as close to the gray lines as you can. And then after and they then set down their wall, they put on the roof. And the next person has to set the walls on as close as they can to the lines as it was on the foundation. And then the next player sets the roof. And there's still a level of difficulty on the roofs. Like this line right here. It's just an arrow. There are special roof cards that aren't just the normal ones that have these symbols on the corners. This is the reverse card, which reverses the direction of play from clockwise to counterclockwise. When you're playing two player, it does nothing. It's just a normal card. This is a Rhino Hero card, and this is Rhino Hero. When you use a Rhino Hero card, the next player has to place the Rhino Hero on the dot before they place their walls. This is the plus one card. When you use this card, the next player has to draw an extra card. This is the times two card. When you use this card, you get to place an extra roof card on top of this, but you cannot place a times two on top of a times two. And this is the take a break card. When you use it, you skip the next player's turn. If it's two players, it just makes you go twice. Here are a few special rules to remember. You can use both hands to place your card, but you can only touch the card that you're placing. And you want to try to get the walls as close as possible to the gray lines, and the roofs have to be placed in the same way as the foundation. There are three ways to end the game. Number one, whoever lays down all of the roof cards wins. Number two, if someone knocks down the building, they lose. And whoever has the fewest roof cards left wins. Number three, if all the walls are placed and the whole building is built. In that case, everyone's awesome and you're all winners. Thanks for subscribing and clicking the bell. And remember, don't knock the tower over. What did I just say? <laughs>